The primary armored force of the Turkish military, the Altay main battle tank, now features reactive armor in its mass-produced models. This locally produced dynamic protection, a product of the Turkish defense giant Rocketson, has been confirmed by both local and Asian sources. This innovative armor was developed at the Rocketson Ballistic Defense Center. While Rocketson is renowned for its expertise in missile systems, rockets, and bombs, its latest project focuses on equipping the Altay tanks with cutting-edge dynamic protection, ensuring the highest standards of combat safety for tank crews. Turkey commenced mass production of the Altay battle tank in May 2024. This expansive program, led by the Turkish Ministry of Defense, involves several key local companies. BMC Automotive leads the production efforts, Aselsan handles the manufacturing of subsystems and fire control systems, Rocketson provides the advanced armor, and MKEK produces the main 120mm gun. South Korea is also playing a significant role in Turkey's program, with two local firms actively participating. Hyundai Rotom, a globally acclaimed South Korean company, is providing tank design consultancy and transferring technology. Meanwhile, Hyundai WIA collaborates with Makek to develop the technology for producing the 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun. Additionally, South Korea contributes to the development, production, and equipment of the Altay tank with composite armor. The Altay's composite armor is derived from South Korea's DSAP, which is also utilized in South Korean tanks and self-propelled artillery, including the K-2 Black Panther and K-9 Thunder. When it comes to Altay's dynamic defense, Rocketson has kept the specifics under wraps. A Rocketson representative hinted that these advanced materials will push reactive armor into a new era of protection. Reactive armor, also known as dynamic protection, is a type of armor used on military vehicles, particularly tanks, to enhance their defensive capabilities against certain types of attacks. It is designed to counteract the effects of high-explosive anti-tank, heat, warheads and other shaped charges that are intended to penetrate armor through a focused jet of metal. The basic principle of reactive armor involves the use of explosive elements sandwiched between two metal plates. When a heat warhead strikes the reactive armor, the explosive layer detonates, causing the metal plates to move outward. This movement disrupts the formation of the penetrating jet, thereby reducing its effectiveness and preventing it from penetrating the main armor of the vehicle. Reactive armor can be classified into two primary types, explosive reactive armor era, and non-explosive reactive armor NERA. ERA uses actual explosives to achieve the protective effect, while NERA relies on non-explosive materials that react physically to the impact. Both types aim to mitigate the damage caused by incoming projectiles. One of the key advantages of reactive armor is its ability to provide significant protection without adding excessive weight to the vehicle. This is crucial for maintaining the mobility and operational effectiveness of tanks and other armored vehicles. However, it is important to note that reactive armor is primarily effective against certain types of threats and may not provide comprehensive protection against all forms of attack. The development and implementation of reactive armor have evolved over the years, with modern systems incorporating advanced materials and design techniques to enhance their protective capabilities. Some contemporary reactive armor systems are modular, allowing for easy replacement and upgrades in the field, thereby extending the operational lifespan of the armored vehicle.